With the escalating financial costs left behind by Hurricane Matthew, a national fundraising effort is being mounted this weekend to assist those in need. Clint Watson tells us more. This is a time for praise and thanksgiving and celebration, and an opportunity to, to really put things back into perspective. The Bahamian Gospel community will come together this weekend at the Evangelist Temple Church on Collins Avenue in an opportunity to not only refresh the country and gospel music, but to also provide an avenue for residents to give to those who need help. Organizer of the event, Kevin Harris, says Sunday's concert will be dubbed Restoration in the wake of Hurricane Matthew and will feature the country's best in gospel including Bishop Denzel Rule and Friends, a landlord, Anderson Sumner and Voices of Praise, uh, Pastor Terrence Forbes, Christian Massive, Emily Williams, Shabak, DJ Consular, Moni Therese, Nehemiah Heal, V Mac, Solo, Sammy Starr, and a few others. Also included will be Minister Nicole Watson and Prophetic Praise, who will jumpstart the event for us with praise and worship. This concert will feature a special live performance from Pastor Simeon Outen out of Freeport, Grand Bahama. This event is being held in conjunction with the Bahamas Christian Council and Save Our Bahamas. We are thankful to Reverend Dr. Ranford Patterson and the Bahamas Christian Council, as well as the Save Our Bahamas team for lending their full support to this national fundraising effort. The content is free, but they're asking you to bring a financial donation of $10 or more. They're also asking churches to bring a collective donation. Checks can be made out to the Bahamas Christian Council. Organizers of the relief effort are also asking for donation of canned goods. As you know, there are still a number of families that need assistance. And so we are asking for persons to bring items, particularly canned goods. Um, these particular items will be boxed and distributed to families who will have been affected in Andrus. Grand Bahama and in New Providence. We are teaming up with Project Hope. Uh, they are the national relief arm of Bahamas Harvest Church who will oversee organization and distribution of all donated food items. Gospel artist DJ Counselor Emily Williams, Terrence Forbes and VMAC are all appealing to the public to support the event, particularly after the level of devastation in the affected areas continue to remain a challenge. This is not an overnight fix. Um, I've seen some of the tragedy in South Andrus and Freeport definitely is uh, Grand Bahamas going through. A lot of persons have lost their homes. And so as we come together as as the church, it's, it, it, sets, it sets the premise that, you know, um, this is something that, that definitely is ordained by God for us to be our brother's keeper. I believe that the gospel is not only in words, but it should be demonstrated in power. And how do we demonstrate this power? By being our brother's keeper. I think this concert is timely. I think we can take um, every opportunity, or we should take advantage of every opportunity that we can to display the gospel. I want to encourage those persons that have been impacted by the storm that our God is a shield and a buckler to those that trust in him. And we want to invite you to come out on Sunday evening in a time of worship and praise and thanksgiving unto God because no lives were lost. Because this night is going to be a one of restoration, one of celebration, celebration of life, celebration of, of no lives being lost, but celebration of, of what, God will, will, what God will do for the future of our country. The concert begins at 7 p.m. on Sunday. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. And in a spirit of gratitude, churches are also coming together to give God thanks for sparing the lives of all Bohemians after the monstrous storm. Pastor Al Ramming of Christian Dis the Discipleship Ministries International is part of the team leading the planned service for Monday evening. We pause to celebrate what God has done in our midst and to make an appeal to others who are doing well to share with those who are not. The service will be held on Monday, the 14th of November at the Living Waters uh, Church on Warren Street where Apostle Raymond Wells is the senior pastor. And on that occasion, we're coming together some 20, 30 odd churches uh, that are part of the fellowship here in Nassau. And we're celebrating under the theme, it's time to dream again. Pastor Ramming says while it is time to give praise, attendees are also being encouraged to come prepared to give and help affect change in the lives of those who need it most. But we also want people to bring their gifts so that collectively we can make a difference to those who are still hurting uh, uh, in the wake of Matthew. 
there's still devastation in, in certain parts of New Providence, devastation in Andros, and Grand Bahama, of course. And we want to make a, a collective uh, effort to make a difference in the lives of persons um, generally.